एवरी वन वेलकम टू बी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सरप्लस प्रोडक्शन मॉडल इन फिश पॉपुलेशन डायनेमिक्स एंड स्टॉक असेसमेंट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो हियर दैट टू काउंट द फिश वी नीड सम पैरामीटर्स लाइक वी कैन नॉट काउंट द फिशेज लाइक वी काउंट एलिफेंट और वट एवर वी काउंट वी कैन नॉट काउंट द फिश सो दैट वी हैव टू नो हेयर द साइज ऑफ द स्टॉक दीज आर स्पेसिफिक पैरामीटर्स दैट आर यूज टू काउंट और नो द साइज ऑफ द फिश हेयर वी हैव टू नो हेयर दैट इन लास्ट क्लास और इन वी हैव सीन इन एज डिटर्मिनेशन मेथड माई प्रीवियस वीडियो and in that we have seen that uh, we cannot calculate the uh, age of a tropical fishes because there are no variations due to which we cannot there are difficulties in calculating the age of the tropical fishes so age and growth are not taken in a specific parameter to ca- uh, count the stock size so we are avoiding the age and the growth parameter and we are taking just the weight or the biomass of the stock so these are the parameters that are usually uh, taken to determine the size of the stock then categories are like fishes are exploited fully exploited over exploited depleted or recovering so these are the categories like hum log aaj tak ye padhe ki agar hum log ko fish ko count karna hai तो हम लोग को एक मेथड की ज़रूरत होती है स्पेसिफिक पैरामीटर्स चाहिए होता है क्योंकि हम लोग जो भी उसका पैरामीटर है जैसे एज एंड ग्रोथ इसे ट्रॉपिकल फिशेस के एज को डिटरमिन नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि उसके लिए वो मुश्किल है एक ट्रॉपिकल फिशेस के एज को डिटरमिन करना क्योंकि हम लोग उसके स्किल्स को या फिर उसके बॉडी में जो भी साइंस है उसको हम लोग कैलकुलेट नहीं कर सकते ये मुश्किल है और इसलिए हम लोग को स्पेसिफिक पैरामीटर जैसे बायोमास एज को डिटरमिन करने के लिए है जैसे फिशेस एक्सप्लॉयटेड है फुली एक्सप्लॉयटेड होती है ओवर एक्सप्लॉयटेड होती होती है या डिप्लीटेड या रिकवरिंग होती है जब मैक्सिमम सस्टेनेबल येल्ट की बात करें मैक्सिमम सस्टेनेबल येल्ट आर इंट्रोड्यूस बाई मिल्लर एंड मिल्लर स्केफर साइंटिस्ट नेम्ड Uh, he has introduced maximum sustainable yield and these are actually the highest catch that still allows the population to sustain itself it means that we are uh, uh, like we are accepting the future that we have to uh, leave something so that our future would be happy means there won't be like uh, the after in future we don't have anything uh, to let our to let everyone to have so we have to uh, think about the future also and we have to calculate the fish stock so initially the population growth exponentially exponentially we know that no in logistic curve it is determining that uh, before the ra- right hand curve shows that the initial is the population growth and it is exponentially means it will slowly grows and it is exponentially and then after reaching the cap- uh, carrying capacity it will slow down so maximum sustainable yield are actually the mid point or the mid of the maximum population growth where the maximum population growth occur in uh, the middle of that are said to be as maximum sustainable yield so the rate of population so maximum subst- uh, surplus production decides decide the population growth like how much is the population growth like uh, before it the maximum su- uh, surplus production population grow are slowly and then uh, after the population growth like mac- uh, maximum sustainable surplus production the population growth then also declines so there are mid point of something and if we are like a uh, fishing the surplus pro, uh, production whatever there is maximum surplus production and we are fishing then it would prevent the population from growing any further if we are taking away the maximum surplus production by fishing so Uh, basically it is half of the population size producing maximum surplus forever hence this is a point of maximum sustainable yield so in we, we, here we have to know that the rate of population increase r is a linear po- function of biomass basic uh, maximum at zero population size and zero at carrying capacity 
so uh, to know the maximum sustainable yield only there are some curve like logistic curve are showing here and the in the midpoint that is of maximum growth when the population is at maximum growth it is says to said to be as maximum sustainable yield and in starting there is exponentially growth occur and after when it reaches to the carrying capacity the growth slows down so we have to know this similarly this image are showing the in in intrinsic rate of population increase that is r and the maximum sustainable yield so the diagram is combining both and we have to calculate so to calculate the maximum sustainable yield there are models like the first that is initially the model who is uh, given by was lotka voltera model it was a scientist and he gave first the production model also known as global model syntactic model or lotka voteral model also known as and it do not consider the age and the size so to calculate the because uh, we have some difficulties in uh, calculating the age and size of tropical fishes so we are here saying that uh, so we cannot calculate the age and size of tropical fishes so we are not taking these parameters we will be only taking the weight parameters to know the size of the stock and it will de deal with the stock biomass fishing effort or yield and do not consider age and size and it does not consider age and size so we have to know all this then after production model there are surplus production model also known as holistic model and this was given by skiffer skiffer was a scientist who gave the surplus production model to calculate the maximum sustainable yield so uh, first is the skiffer model and to calculate for unexploited or stockless exploited exploited fishes these are the equations which determine the uh, maximum sust for uh, the aim is to calculate the maximum sustainable yield because we are aiming the future also agar hum log dekhe sabse pehle production model aaya tha maximum sustainable yield hamara main purpose hai humko nikalna hai kyunki hum log future ko dekhte hue ye kar rahe hain kyunki future mein hum waisa stock chahiye jo ki abhi jo bhi stock hum log usko exploit kar rahe ya over exploit kar rahe ya unexploited hai फिर भी एक मैक्सिमम ग्रोथ होगा पॉपुलेशन का जहाँ पे उसको हम लोग कैच करते हैं तो मैक्सिमम सस्टेनेबल येल्ट ही हम लोग को पता करना है उसके लिए सबसे पहले प्रोडक्शन मॉडल आया जिसमें कि हम लोग एज और साइज को कंसीडर नहीं करते थे हम लोग सिर्फ फिशिंग येल्ट फिशिंग एफर्ट या बायोमास को कंसिडर करते हैं बायोमास का यहाँ मतलब होता है वेट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल एट सर्टन टाइम वॉट एवर विल बी द वेट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल एट सर्टन टाइम आर सेट टू बी एस बायोमास सो वी आर कंसिडरिंग ऑल दिस वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग एज एंड साइज स्कीफर मॉडल इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड फोर ही हैज़ गिवेन अ मॉडल ऑल्सो नॉन ए सरप्लस प्रोडक्शन मॉडल और होलिस्टिक मॉडल एंड फॉर अन एक्सप्लॉयटेड फिशेज दे आर एप्लीकेबल वेर बी टी इज द बायोमास एट टाइम टी एंड बी टी प्लस वन इज द बायोमास एट टी प्लस वन टाइम and r maximum is the intrinsic rate of population increase and k is the carrying capacity and c is the catch per unit time so if we are calculating all this we will be knowing uh, r max and by r max knowing we can calculate it calculate the yield after knowing the yield we can also calculate the maximum sustainable yield which is r max into the carrying capacity and it is divided by 4 so these are skiffer model then fox model are similarly like skiffer model the difference here between these two are uh, in skiffer model maximum sustainable yield can be calculated at 50% of carrying capacity whereas in fox model maximum sustainable yield can be calculated uh, at 37% of carrying capacity so these are uh, point are important for exam point of view so we have to know all this and the fox model are uh, the difference here between these uh, two equations like fox model and skiffer model is that the, in fox model we are no uh, determining we are uh, taking here log 
and we are not taking log in Schiffer model so log is the basic difference here and we can uh, calculate the maximum sustainable year by knowing all this so this was the main aim so uh, we have known here that what are maximum sustainable yield we have known what is Kiefer model and what is Fox model so these are to and topics are very important for exam like JRF or any exam you are preparing for this will surely help you and this is a population dynamics and stock assessment thanks for watching and if you like my channel then please do subscribe like share thanks for watching